Hey guys, this is Chandler again, and welcome to your third tutorial on Android programming. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you the last two things you have to do before you can start your first, you can before before creating your first Android application. So the first thing you do is install the Eclipse IDE. So to do that, you open up the internet and go right here and type in Eclipse dot org slash downloads and click enter or hit enter alright once you're there you pick your operating system either 32 bit or 64 bit and and, and uh, download that alright once that's downloaded you extract it I extracted it to my desktop so that way I can have easy access that's what she said um, and um, once you extracted it, you just open up Eclipse, which I already have it open, so I'm not going to do that. All right, once it's open, you're gonna have a different screen than me right here, but uh, it's you just click go to your workbench, and it's gonna have this screen. All right, the next thing you do since uh, Eclipse is downloaded, you go to Help and install new software. And in this part right here, you type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash DLL dash SSL dot Google dot com forward slash Android forward slash Eclipse. And once you do that, you'll click right here on and check developer tools and click next. All right. Since I already have the uh, all the ADT plugin, I don't need this. So, but you do. So you're just gonna make sure all four of those are checked, and there might be more. Uh, and click next, and then next, and then you uh, accept an agreement and click finish. And once that's downloaded, you're done, and you can start Android programming. Yay! All right. I'll see you guys next time, and don't forget to subscribe.